Hi guys, still looking at this differential gearbox for the um, radio controlled scraper or digger or whatever you want to call it. Uh, those two are for the fixed rear axle, not the differential. I've just tried making them slightly bigger than the one I did because it seemed to be a little bit loose in there, diameter wise I'm talking. So that one's one millimeter bigger diameter and that one's two millimeter bigger diameter. So I'll try them later. But I thought we'd have a look at this differential gearbox that I've been working on. Just a reminder, um, it was entirely missing from the toy when I bought it. It just wasn't there. Obviously it had broken at some time and somebody had taken it apart and thrown away the bits. So there was nothing. Well, I say nothing. That was all that was there. And I could work out from that that we'd got something could slide in that way, which I'm taking to be these planetary gears, as I called them. I tried moulding them all in one piece. And that wasn't working for me, so now I'm moulding a, a central pin and separate planetary gears. Then that slot in there is that slot there. So these will fit in like that. And then spaces for either side. That spacer goes on there and should actually hold the pins in place to stop them slopping about. So we'll see if we can get this one apart and give it a try. Now this particular PLA that I've been using seems to be more rigid than the stuff I was using, which is probably good for gears makes them a little bit stiffer. Still deforms slightly. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But it's fairly straight here and a little bit wrinkly at that end. And so it's possibly printed too hot and settling down a little bit while it's sitting on the bed. I've been printing the latest ones on a raft to try and reduce that problem, but yeah, probably ought to get the microscope on there to show the detail. Might do that. But we'll just have a look, see if we can actually get them off the raft. Sits in there, all right. I have to file the edges off it a bit. It's funny how sometimes they pop off beautifully, and other times they're a pain. That one came off all right. Not too bad. Again, those are quite deformed. I'll get my little microscope out and have a look at them just so we can see them. Right, looking at the gear under the microscope. Where's my tweezers?
top edge doesn't look too bad. If I turn it over. I think we really want to look along the edge of it. You know, we can see the curve in the edge of the teeth. Just that focus of it. What I'm really trying to say is they're not, not nice and sharp, they're deformed. How about this one? I don't know if the microscope was very helpful there. It was too fine adjustment. So we're just looking at it with the camera on its macro mode instead. They're just not the shape I really want them to be.
That'll do. These little pins are probably the ones that are the worst deformed in the printing. The heads are yeah, pretty bad. So we'll put it together. That should slide into there, and it doesn't. It does from that side, so that means we've got a bit of a ridge in there. Again, from the printing, deforming. Yeah, it goes almost all the way through, and then there's a little ridge at the bottom. Where it seems to have puddled, I think is the best way I can describe it. Good fit from that side, won't go all the way through. Right, I'll clean them out. Okay, that's cleaned it out, just a little needle file. Fit in there, I've got to trim that. Oh, I'll have to trim that as well, I think. I like that one. Right, well, that one's okay ish. That one I'm going to have to trim a little bit, that's just too far deformed. Right, trim that one a little bit. So that's in. And out again. And that one sits on top to hold them in place. It would if that one was on the way home. I might have to trim them a little bit on the side. Make sure that fits. Okay, uh, let's have a look, see if they're going to fit on the axle. I have to trim them a bit to get them in there. I like that one. I think that is about right, because the, the knurling is just that little bit thicker than the main Axle. Yeah, that'll be alright once I've run that through a little bit. It's the same problem. It fits in that way, but doesn't fit in that way because there's a little ridge formed by the uh, filament pooling. That's, what, that's the word I'm going to use, pooling. It's sagging at the bottom. I think that one's probably the same. Yeah, it goes in that side, doesn't go in that side. In, not in. Let's just pop them out again for a minute. Very gently Yeah, wrong way now. That one's okay. It's 
a little bit now. Let's just try and get that little ridge off. go with a bit of a push which we won't give it just yet right okay so having done all that there's still no guarantee that's going to fit where I want it looks like that doesn't need that spacer now <laughs> You see what I mean about the shape, shape of the teeth. These are nice pointy teeth on the moulded gear. And I've got rounded teeth. them again try and get a better point on them. And the angle's not right either. In fact that feels like a worse fit than the earlier ones. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.